I tell friends they should watch the show, the two things I tell them about it is I think it has the style of a Fred Astaire film and that it's really about love, that uh, we have two men who love each other. <laughs> But because it's 21st century America, we learn about it in kind of backwards ways, uh, that uh, the lead character is teaching uh, the FBI character how to show his wife how much he loves her. I was wondering how, uh, this is really for the uh, producer, uh, how much of that you were thinking about in creating the show? You know. Uh, Jeff Easton, who, who created the show, he always said to me that really the spark for him was when he found an emotional connection between uh, Peter and Neil over the two great relationships in their lives. And that really was something that you discovered in the pilot. And it happened actually during a moment of intense conflict, really. Uh, as they're driving in a car, uh, Peter's forgotten about Elizabeth's, their anniversary, how's he going to find out what to give her, and it's the last minute and it's raining and Neil's been brooding about Kate and trying to overcome, should I run, should I stay, what am I going to do with my life, and they, they get in this great argument in the car that's handled in a perfect way between the two characters because it's an argument but it's with forgiveness and it's stuck in a car. So you can't go anywhere. You can't get away from each other. Yeah. It was a terrific scene. And that, I think he, he said in a funny way, that scene kind of became uh, 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 eponymous with the, the kinds of scenes that really play well between the two characters. When we come from a different viewpoint about the same great need in your life, it's to be understood, to be loved, to love someone else, to be accepted. And I know when Jeff is happiest with a script or happiest with an episode, it deals with one of those themes. Mm. If I may, one of the things I responded to when I first read the pilot and we talked about a lot is that our characters also have a mutual respect for each other. Even though they do something, they come from vastly different backgrounds, there's a part of Peter's life that I want. I want the picket fence ultimately, but I don't think I can have it. And I think if I may be so bold, there's certain things that <laughs> oh, yeah. you oh, yeah. like about Neil's lifestyle. And yeah. so they respect each other's intelligence, and they know they have a lot to offer each other. And Neil knows that Peter has a lot to offer him. So. Mm -hmm. And I think, and that, and that's, and that, for, it's love. It is, it is. You're right. And, and that kind of permeates. I wouldn't say Peter loves Mozzie. <laughs> but, no, but, but. That could be a story. But, line. right. But, but it, it, Mozzie drives Peter crazy, and, and, and that's, sometimes that's the way it is with Neil and Peter. But still, you, you will see Mozzie do a favor for Peter, and you'll see Peter do a favor for Neil. And I think that underneath it all, there's a. It all starts with this guy. <laughs> it trickles down from there. 